Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my HTC HD2 video running Android 2.1 Eclair, and you already saw how it's stable it was and how it ran through. So, what today I've done, I've already just I've just installed the 2.2 Darkstone Froyo. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. All right, so you got to have your custom ROM obviously and you gotta have your HSPL3 installed with some sort of custom ROM I'm hoping you have done that already so let's just go ahead and dive into this so let's go to your start menu and go to total commander I'm using the energy build by the way um, go to total commander or some sort of file explorer something like that and uh, so you're gonna be greeted by this screen just go ahead and go to storage card and then, um, for some for some reason, some phones do have a little file called Android. It's just Android, not Android apps. But if you do have that file named Android, you're gonna have to delete that, or else your your Android will not boot up correctly. And I have seen that happen to me as well. Then you gotta run your CLR CAD, and then your Herit. If you don't run those within 10 seconds of each other, your Android will not run properly. So you're going to be seeing all this code for about a minute, a minute or two. So for me, it, I won't even understand it. I'm pretty sure the majority of viewers, majority of majority of people in general probably won't understand this. So let's just be thankful that the developers are there to help us so this whole thing will take about a minute so let's just go ahead and nail the facts down um, what the developers already said he said that uh, 3G speeds are somewhat slow but that's by a case-by-case -case basis so um, he said uh, Bluetooth works but he's not 100% sure that heads Bluetooth headsets work so GPS works, and let's just wait for it to boot up. Um, I'm gonna update the video description of what and what works and what doesn't work. I'll probably just have to say what what doesn't work since it's a lot easier to just say that. So the whole process probably takes about a minute, a minute and a half to boot it into Android. So. Okay, so now you're greeted by the 2.2 Froyo lock screen. So, right here you're greeted by three launchers. HTC Sense, Launcher, Launcher Pro. I will explain each br very briefly. Pretty much HTC Sense. It makes your HTC HD2 make it look like an Evo 4G, but obviously without the 4G internet. So, this is the this is the um, launcher of choice if you want to show it off or something because it looks very good it runs somewhat laggy but it still looks very nice very well put together and you might see yeah so you can see the little slight lag in there but it's still it's still usable it looks great and uh, all your apps are still there right there you see Wi-Fi hotspot pretty much turns your phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot <laughs> can't really get more simple than that you can put a password on it if you need it so let's go ahead and just try a little little mini clip game I'm not 100% sure if um, flash player works um, I'm gonna have to look into that later It'll to give you air first, but then you just gotta turn it on, and it'll connect to your wireless router. And I'm just gonna go to the only thing I can think of right now is mini clips, so I'll just go there. Let's yeah. just go there. And you see this little green blinking light up here that occasionally flashes up like maybe every few seconds or so. That's normal. You're going to have to deal with that. And I just made a call and it did work. Right, so 
it's uh, somewhat slow so there you go mini clips works there you go it's done with that friendly fire whatever you're done with that we are done let's just go back to HTC whatever Google but um like I said I'm not 100% sure flash player works on it so let's uh just add all your widgets right there so let's just go ahead and go to launcher this is the true Froyo launcher right here down here well let's just go to that menu you still have your 3d panoramic uh, slider screen and down here you see these little shortcut links you can always just drag an application and just throw it up I guess they don't allow you to throw something on, so you just can't customize it, I guess. But let's see, let's go to Launcher Pro now. And this one has a little bit more updated look to it. It's still sort of like the Nexus, but um, no 3D stuff. But let's see if you can customize that bottom thing. I guess not. Maybe you can, yep, you can. You can just change the short shortcut right there. All you gotta do is just hold the shortcut down just change it and you can always change the little swipe gesture you can activate a little swipe gesture yeah a whole bunch of things you just got to take through it not going to really go into depth with that so as you can see it's this launcher pro runs really smooth it's uh it's the smoothest out of all three launchers so if you need the fastest and most simplest then I would go with the Launcher Pro. Um, so just a whole bunch of little things going on in here. I guess this thing comes with a, a little application called App Share. So I guess you can Bluetooth over some applications to anyone and they'll be able to install. The G sensors work very fine. Let's just go ahead and do a little doodle jump, which I had installed over my uh, previous Android build. So oops oh well just to show off the little G sensor okay let's go home. back to launcher pro launcher pro like I said is the most stable of it uh, let's go to camcorder camcorder does work that's what the developer said let's see if it does yep camcorder works and let's see what else is there okay flashlight is a little application where you just turn on the LED you have to go to the max setting one two there you go well, third setting I guess there you see bright LEDs like a flashlight it's a great little application especially with these LED lights And uh, there's not too much to show off with it. You might have already seen my other video about it. So I went through a little bit of testing with that. See, Android 2.2. And uh, thanks to Darkstone for creating this Android build. Without him and uh, many of the other developers, this wouldn't have been possible. Um, everything do does, um, I think it does store onto a special partition in the SD card not 100% sure like whenever you download an application it uh, goes straight to the SD card I'm assuming um, market works um, I haven't signed in with my Google account so I'm not be able I wouldn't be able to show you that and I'm not gonna waste time doing that either um, I'm gonna update the video description so pay attention to that about uh, other little features you might have questions about like um, there you go a little camera like uh, uh, what was it like 3G stuff like that I'm gonna test my own speeds and uh, you might notice a little bit of lag every now and then see you can see that uh, it's not registering my touch a little so just power off the phone powered back on and there you go then it's working again and 
that's pretty much it.